it's V and I'm on Patmos in Greece and we've been several places. I'll do a voiceover because it's very hard to do. We're actually in a tour group um, so it's very hard to do a voiceover but um, we're not allowed to film inside many places so we got the outside of at least the most interesting places on that island and it's a gorgeous island so I'll show you around at least what we do and right now we're at the monastery. I just can't get over the colors of the sunrises and sunsets. And it just fills the whole sky with pinks and purples and blues. Beautiful way to start the morning. Welcome to Patmos Island, Greece. The cruise ship docked out in the harbor, so small boats or tenders took us ashore. The scenery just from the tenders was gorgeous. I'll be honest, I'd never heard of Patmos. When you look up Patmos, you run into a lot of nicknames. St. John's Island, the Island of the Apocalypse, and one sensational headline, the Greek island where the end of the world began. This is because Patmos is best known as the island where St. John of Patmos, or St. John the Theologian, or St. John the Apostle, saw visions that led to the writing of the book of Revelations in the New Testament of the Bible. Cave of the Apocalypse. I'll explain more in a minute. It is said that St. John dictated the book of Revelations in a cave now known as the Church of the Apocalypse. There is no filming inside the small area, but there's a rock where St. John was said to have laid his head to sleep, and a table-like thing where apparently Revelations was written. Wow. After visiting the church, we walked around the capital of the island, Cora. I think that's how it's pronounced, but I'm not positive. Apologies if it's incorrect. I've also seen it spelled H-O-R-A, so I'm not certain. This town is home to many Athenian vacation homes and houses built originally in Byzantine times.
From the town, we walked up the hill to the Monastery of St. John. The views from the monastery are stunning. There's no filming inside, but the gorgeous frescoes outside, symbolizing miracles performed by St. John, are well worth seeing. This fortified monastery is, along with the entire island, still a pilgrimage site. After seeing the sights, we went for a meze plate with small tasters of traditional Greek food at a restaurant where the family running the restaurant entertained us with Greek dancing. The food, the dancing, and the views were superb. It was a great way to end our day on Patmos. Patmos is a beautiful little island with scenery and history, and you know, that is right up my alley. I really enjoyed our time in Patmos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love comments. Thanks so much.